Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to play Fiddling Around by Johnny Gimble. Where you been boy? Don't give me no flannel. Time for some Johnny Gimble on the Fiddle Channel. Now this, I have to say, is one of the most difficult pieces I've ever played. But it's Johnny Gimble's uh, most famous tune and uh, we have to attempt it. Even though it may be extremely hazardous both to um, your fingers and to your mental health. This is a request incidentally for Clay Mack and for several other people who've uh, pestered me over the months <laughs> where I've been practicing it and trying to get it right. And I think I've got it somewhere near. Uh, this incidentally is my transcription by ear and it's not taken from any sheet music so there's quite likely a few errors because it is so fiendishly difficult. Uh, I heard a story which I believe is true that Johnny Gimble wrote this while driving a car down a long straight road in Texas and that the idea came to him that he started um, steering with his knees and that he picked up the fiddle and started playing this as he was driving which, uh, considering how hard it is, is quite a thing to, to think about. Anyway, I'm going to take you step by step through the intricacies of this fiendishly difficult tune. And um, I hope you uh, will manage to get at least into the first bar. Um, if you don't get any further than that, then don't worry about it. Uh, there is actually a, a really easy bit right at the start, which is the... And then Gimbal, whenever he performs it, or performed it, he, he made up a different set of words to suit whatever the occasion was, uh, as I attempted to do there. And then you have a couple of blues licks, and then it's in two. So we start off with an open E, with a B flat under it, going up to B natural. That's easy enough. Um, but then it gets hard straight away. Second finger with a fourth finger below it. So we're taking the, the two and the four off and leaving the one on. Take the first down. Now, he, now it gets hard. Leaving our first finger where it is, put your second finger back on and get your fourth finger back to where it was. So all we've done is change the position of the first finger. So let's start again. Back to where we were. So that's three bars um, where only really the, the movement is in the first finger. The problem is in keeping it in tune. And I do find, for some reason, that if I get my elbow right around here, then it helps to get the fingers going straight down. Because otherwise, if your fingers are ever so slightly flat, then they're going to be um, interfering with the open strings, and it, it'll, it'll mess it up. So let's do those three one more time. One, two, three. Okay, now, second finger with the fourth finger below it, so that's a G sharp and an E. We're sliding that down to a, to a B. And then up to third, uh, third position, second finger, fourth finger. So we're going from second and fourth to second and fourth. And slide it down again. And then, first, second, second um, brought up. Now here's the first really hard bit, we're going to jump into second position. So we're playing an A with our second finger, with the fourth finger below it, and then putting the first finger next to the second finger. Bring the first finger down, I'll do that again. And 
then keep your second and fourth where they were. So we got. And then back to first position. Two and four. One and three. Two and open. One and three. And that's open. Uh, third and first. And uh, that's played like this. So this is chain going. So you've got about a, a month's work there already. Let's start from the beginning. One, two, three. find you need to miss out one or two notes in order to give yourself time to change position then by all means do. Okay now we're going to second position again so we're going to put our first finger on a B so that's the B first finger and that first finger is going across two strings so it's also going to do an F sharp. We're going to put the third finger on So that's a really simple pattern. One, two, three, 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 one. Then down to first position. So that's first finger on the E and the B. Keep them on. So the timing of this is a bit tricky. Do 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 down, do 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 down, do 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 down, do 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 down, do 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 down. Second bar, we're going to put a second finger on the A string. And that's hard because we've got a big stretch from there to the G uh, to the G note. To the G sharp. So from the E again. Okay, and then on to first position on the A. So the A has got a E above it. And then the, the monster lick comes right at the end. We're playing a F sharp with our second finger, but it's in second position because the first finger is going to be up next to it playing a B flat. So we're playing one and two and two and four. So make sure that's in tune. It should sound like this. But you've got to do it with two and four. So keep your first one and two on as you put your three and four on. And then moving on to the next string, move your whole two fingers up a step. And then the three and four go in the same position again relative to where it was before. So we're going and then same again, up up a string and up a position and the three and four again. So this is a very symmetrical pattern. Two and four, uh, two and one, two, two and one, three and four, two and one, three and four, two and one, three and four. But each time moving up a string and up a semitone. And then you can either come straight down again or if you're nifty enough, you can do this. Um, so a little... And the whole thing comes off the beat. So it's one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> uh, and then it's the A section again. So just that last uh, two bars is probably a month's work in itself, if, you, if you've not done this before. Um, let's go through the whole thing uh, slowly. One, 
again uh, to finish and I'll do a little solo at the end. Um, there's no way you're going to play this by ear so if you want a copy of the dots then do subscribe and send me an email and I'll send you a copy of this and then set aside let's say three months to practice it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon.